Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. Um, so today we are uh, finally going to do the video review um, of the bullet that was recovered from the doe that I shot, uh, uh, whatever it was, maybe a month ago or a few weeks back, whatever it was. I had posted a, a real short video uh, showing you guys the doe on the back of the four-wheeler. Um, so I shot it with, it was uh, a load that I'd worked up, um, 129 grain Hornady SST uh, bullet and using, I think it's IMR 4451. Uh, we were at 2,700 feet per second at the muzzle. Um, the shot was at 125 yards. So according to the ballistic app that I use, uh, ballistic calculator app that I use, at that distance, uh, bullet was going about 24, 24, 160 feet per second, something like that, at impact. Uh, energy, if you're into that kind of thing, it was over 1,700 foot-pounds of energy. Um, and if you are if you take a look and kind of read, this is in the Hornady manual, uh, basically the, it, the bullet was designed to deliver tremendous shock on impact. Okay, while expanding quickly, reliably, uh, and reliably, particularly at higher velocities. So flat shooting, accurate, all that fun stuff, which this, this load is extremely accurate. I went back out. Uh, I'll do another video on the Cabela's scope that I have mounted on this rifle, but and I'll kind of talk through some of that. But it, this is a very accurate load um, that I have worked up. So... It shot really well. Um, the deer was quartering away from me, and so it wasn't the uh, best shot, uh, most optimal shot in the world. Um, but the deer was quartering away, and I put it basically where I knew it was gonna gonna get the vitals. And then, I, you know, we were able to recover the bullet. It was basically stuck in what I call the chest area uh, of the deer. Um, and the processor recovered it and life was good. So it's taken me a little while to get the bullet back uh, from my dad, but kind of here's some of the things. So this is what, it's kind of an example, uh, 30 cal, 165 grain at different velocities. So now here is the uh, retained weight and what the bullet looks like. So retained weight was 82.3 grains. So this is 129 grain bullet. Um, let's get it over here. So there you go. And I, and I brushed this thing off best I could. Um, it did have some, some, some deer left in it, you know, from underneath the pedals and stuff. So I really, I cleaned it out and scrubbed it, uh, as good as I could. I just, I didn't want anything uh, like that kind of interfering with our, with our weight. Um, but 82.3 grains, so basically this thing lost 46 grains. Uh, it's like 46.7 or whatever it is. That, that's if it started out at 129 exactly, which a lot of times they don't. They, they vary um, a couple tenths here or there. Um, so yeah, so it lost 46 grains basically, um, which is 36% of its overall total weight. Um, which this bullet is not a bonded bullet, so it's not meant to. Uh, it's not meant for maximum weight retention. It will shed some of its weight. Uh, that's just part of the design. So, as you can see down here, it's not bonded to those pedals. Uh, so it will it will shed some of its weight, um, but it's designed to do that. So, pretty good stuff. I mean, you know, it retained a, a really good amount of weight. Um, expanded nicely and I mean just dropped the hammer on that doe so really pleased really pleased with that it's a really good shooting load I went out to the range uh, this past Saturday and just kind of reconfirmed my zero uh, with that setup shot a three shot group and it was it was a half inch group I mean I know it's only three shots but half inch at a hundred um, that's I, I can't ask for more out of a hunting load so there you go, guys. Uh, for those of you that's been waiting for that, uh, we finally got it back. Sorry it took a little bit longer than expected, but 
there you go. So great job. Hats off to Hornady. His shot was at, you know, 125 yards. Um, and the doe just dropped in her tracks. Didn't take a step. So there we go. Looks like I, I found my <laughs> go-to hunt and load for the 6.5 Creedmoor. So, all right. That's it. Hope you guys have a good one. We'll catch you next time.